Hey, what's up, YouTubers? The Digital Back with a video, and today I'm gonna show you how to make an ocean intro in Sony Vegas Pro 12. I did not open Sony Vegas Pro 12 because I'm dumb, but I opened it right now, so that's a good thing. Uh, it's opening up. Oh, look at that! That was quick, quick and easy. Uh, now we are here. So how about I show you how to make that beautiful ocean intro? Uh, it is. Oh God, I don't have the video file on me anymore. I deleted it because I usually delete stuff that I already uploaded because you know it's always on YouTube. Uh, so you can watch it. It should be like my latest video. Well, second latest video. And yeah, you can watch it there. But I'll show you how to make it anyways. Uh, go to press on this over here. Um, click on this and go to Control Shift Q and press that a couple of times. I don't know how many video tracks we need, but I know we need a lot. Uh, so it's just six times right now. Uh, if you guys want to know my video settings, they are they are this. Bam. Yep. That's all. Now let's go. You can pause the video if you really need to. First things first, we gotta put in our rocks. So go to the very bottom layer and go to stone wallpaper. Uh, by the way, I don't know why I did not mention mention this, but I should have. You can get this file in the description below. Uh, it's 39 megabytes. Yep, 39 megabytes, and it got made today. Well, no, not, no, God, it got made a couple of days ago. I've been holding off this tutorial for a while. I was supposed to make it on Friday, but I got sleepy, so I fell asleep and totally forgot. Uh, here is the underwater bullets. Ah, uh, oh God, I forgot the person I'm supposed to give credit to. Uh, their, their, I don't know. Their channel link will be in the description below. Um, let's go back to the video. So we just put in our rock background. Now what we want to do is we want to go back all the way to the first layer and go to top water. Put that in there like so. Uh, this stuff was made in After Effects. It took forever to freaking render this, making me mad. It did make me mad, but I finally rendered it, and this is what it looks like. It looks really cool, and uh, definitely complements the intro. Uh, go to the compositing mode for what? What? What's my mouse. Okay, go to the compositing mode for the the top water. I go, yeah, click that and go to add. This is put it right over there. Now, as you can see, we do have a problem. The rocks are going in all the water. It just does not, it just does not look normal. So increase this to the length of the top water press the pan cropped button and press mask yeah okay now click this rectangle tool right over here and figure out where the water ends and it's about half this like kidney stone so bam there you go awesome now go to feather type and go to both and for feather percentage, I think 25-30% is good. Um, just do it the old slow way. Yup, the old slow way. Okay, now we have that. We could adjust uh, the rectangle as much as we want. So I'm going to decrease this all the way to about to about this stone right over here, and decrease this to about the same l length. Uh, there you go. Now adjust the bottom as well, just a little bit. This just gives that dark, sinister look. I don't really want a dark, sinister look, but whatever. There you go. This looks pretty nice. Now we have to color correct uh, the rocks because they don't look good with this, like this. Uh, so go to color curves under video effects and go to default right over here. Now what this does is that this one right over here increases the brightness and this one. Um, but this one makes the brights brighter, and this one makes the darks darker. So adjust the darks darker one more, because it's way more important. All I did was adjust the darks darker one. And then go to blue. We can increase the blueness like so. We could even increase it like this. I don't know why well, I'm assuming it, it does the brighter blues. This looks pretty good. So this uh, little nice curve like this, and then for the RGB, uh, this curve like this uh, yeah Th there are no really exact numbers for this you're gonna have to eyeball it uh, this is what it looks like so far you know not not looking too shabby so far and now we have to put in our particles so go to explore and go to water parts and put it right above the rocks and bam that's what happens uh, right click on this and delete the audio because you don't need that uh, go to compositing mode for the particles and Click on it like so and go to add. And look at that. It does not look fancy. Now there are a bunch of particles floating around underneath the water. It looks really nice. Now what we have to do, we have to uh, put in the side lights. And these are just some optical flares. I'll just put it, actually no, put it underneath the water for now. 
delete the uh, audio of course and drag it on top of the water like that oh, yeah drag it on top of the water now we gotta go to the compositing mode for the side lights and go to add so it removes the darkness and this is what it looks like mm, not too bad now I have to go down over here like so but what are we missing does anyone does anyone know I don't know what we're missing I totally know what we're missing we are missing the underwater bullet trails you don't need this I don't know you might want to use it but it's up to you but I'll give the credit to the thing anyways uh, now we're gonna have to adjust we're gonna mask out the bullets because if you notice over here uh, the trails are coming from above the water and we don't want that so we're gonna fix that right now and go to pan crop for the bullet trails and go to mask now press the rectangle and do about just eyeball the same stuff that you had for the the rock background so like so see that's that's not very good because it's cutting off right over here so I'm just gonna increase this, increase this a little bit uh, like that okay now go to feather type and go to both and I'm gonna put this to 35 god dang it there way easier okay now we're gonna have to adjust the sides of it just like we did with the water background not the wa sorry like we did with the rock background bam so now if we watch this uh, hold on I'll make sure you drag into the middle of the clip a little bit because that's when the really good stuff happens uh, like so now we're gonna make it fade out at the end so just do this by by eye like so okay now we gotta go to the compositing mode for the underwater bullets and press add so we can actually see stuff in the background and that does not look good Here, let me just show you what exactly it looks like it doesn't look very good I don't like how bright the white water is it should be the same as the background so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna make the background we're gonna make the bullet trails the same as the background. So we're gonna default again and do the exact same color that you just did. Uh, so increase the darkness. Okay, there you go. Sorry if you have stuff in the background. People are loud. It really makes me mad. Uh, go to RGB and do the same thing that you did for the background. Uh, go to blue. Oh god, dang it! Cooperate. there you go this is a lot more curvature I don't know why it's like that but it does match the little blue tint that everything else has so I'm okay with it uh, you, you don't have to copy the exact one you can just eyeball the blue that you want uh, now we need we don't need the text sorry we have to make the environment still uh, go to video effects and scroll down to waves wave there you go go to the large one right over here you, you can actually select anyone you want but I choose large that's what she said. Now go put this on top of the rocks, like so. And you can see it messes them up a lot. We don't want that messed up. So press the animate button over here. Uh, decrease everything down to under one. So, got uh, cooperate. God damn. Uh, put everything down under the one, because we don't want stuff moving too much. Okay, my mouse is really making me mad. I don't know why it's not cooperating with me now drag the timeline bar this thing like about two seconds adjust everything a little bit I'm just gonna mess with the vertical and horizontal ways because those are the ones that really matter drag it a little bit more forward uh, mess with that some more uh, okay there you go now go forward a little bit more adjust everything more there you go all the way to the end because I'm getting lazy. Oh, see, we just we just passed the threshold. That's okay. It's not it's not it's not terrible, uh, but I don't want waves that big. Uh, so try to stay underneath one, but I did escape one, so that's okay. It's not gonna mess everything up. Uh, let's watch this to see if everything is good. Put this on preview auto because I don't want my computer to lag. Uh, so let's watch it. Yep, as you can see, the background gets all wiggly like that, like it's supposed to because it's freaking water. Uh, yeah. And that's what it looks like now god I hope you guys did not hear the fan alrighty then now we're gonna add our text so right click on that one empty spot which is the three insert our text media uh, type in whatever you want I'm gonna type in digital rhino uh, I actually typed in the digital rhino into the Google search not the Google search bar into the YouTube search bar and I did not find my channel I was pretty mad I was really mad what the heck YouTube what is this about uh, go to about like 18 whoa <laughs> that's so cool uh, I don't know if I should keep it like that you know I want to keep it like that it looks pretty cool Rhino uh, 
12-ish. No, it's too small. That's what he said. Uh, oh, god dang it. No. Shit. What, what, what size was this? Oh, now nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, I'm just going to keep it at 22. You can have any size you want. Uh, go to location and click on a little little target and use your uh, the arrow keys to lower it down like two two arrows bam ooh god that's really hard to read so we're gonna fix that right click on the text again and go to edit generated media all the way up to the right oh wait let's adjust the color first uh, anything you want anything that suits you I'm gonna just make it a blue you can make orange huh? it doesn't matter uh, now go to shadow and make sure the uh, X and Y are at zero so I'll just do that right now oh not a O a zero uh, the zero and O are in the exact same place well the diagonal but god I wonder how many people have accidentally pressed a zero instead of an O uh, enable shadow and just put like about about this much yep so less than half uh, it's readable I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because I don't want that small I, I think that's what C said. I don't want it that small. Yeah, that could work. Uh, change the size. For... God damn it. Okay, I'm just going to have to increase the whole thing. That's too big. God damn it. That's what C said. Okay, now that's good. That's good. Uh, I'm going to do the O bigger again because I, I think that looks really cool. It looks a little bit stupid, but it looks, it looks, it looks stupid in a good way. Rhino. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Now we want to make this stuff also be like it's underneath the water, so we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the large wave, and do the yeah exact same thing that we did with the background. So animate, uh, make sure everything is below one. Uh, come on, there you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, go forward a little bit. Uh, decrease a little bit. You know, decrease this a little bit too. Uh, a little bit forward. Oh, look at that. Increase it a little bit. Increase it. Uh, go this way. Decrease it. Uh, increase this just to mess with it. Oh, god dang it. I passed the freaking threshold. There you go. Uh, forward a little bit. Ooh, look at that zero. That's not very good. So I'm just going to increase this a little bit more. And decrease this. Oh, god dang it. There. Now go to the very end. Okay. I press the threshold again. Oh well, I'm gonna break the law. Well, it's not really law, but it's my law. Now I am the law. Okay, let's watch this. Yep, I can work with that. Definitely work with that. Uh, now you want to make it more subtle, so uh, right-click on this and go to, uh, go back to sorry video event event FX. Uh, hold down Control and click every single keyframe you just put down. Bam! Now you can let go of the control when all of them are selected, and right-click on one of them, and go to Smooth Fade, Smooth Criminal. <sighs> now, that's good. Okay, that's fine. That's actually perfect. Now, go to Transitions. Bam! Go to Gradient. No, not Gradient Wipe. Is it Gradient Wipe? Yep, it is Gradient Wipe. I'll go to that and go to Soft Noise. Put it right in the beginning of our text. So that it, hold on, halfway through our text should come in. Increase it like this much, so that's really slow coming in. Okay, now we have to add one more thing. We actually need seven video tracks, so one off. So Control Shift Q, and drag this one right above the, right above the text, and go to video. No, go to media, media generators. Go to noise texture and go to the plasma. Put it right above the text. Now I'm gonna decrease the pink because the pink is the most ugliest thing I've ever seen. Um, I'm just gonna click on it and reduce the opacity to zero, like so. So only the blue is left. I'm gonna lower the opacity of the blue because I don't want it too bright. I just want like mm, that's good enough. Now uh, go to noise parameters. Hold on, I'm just gonna mess with it to see what it is. Yep, not gonna mess with it. Uh, let's see what off offset is. 
Aha, offset, perfect. Wait a minute, should I mess with this? Nope, not gonna mess with this either. Sorry, just don't do anything I just did. Now, go to Pancraft for the plasma. Go to, go to the mask and make that little rectangle that I made. But this time just doing like the center area. And you're, you're gonna have to, oh, you know what? Just mess with here, just make this little freaking thing like that. Now we could adjust this around. Like so. Oh, you know what? Actually, delete this. Delete the whole mask. Go to the oval. This will look way better. Now make this oval right like so. And place the oval right there. And go to feather type. And go to both. There you go. Uh, 16. I want to make. I want to increase the opacity of the plasma a little bit more. So go to um, edit generated media f when you right click on the plasma. Uh, increase the opacity. Okay. One thing I forgot to do was I forgot to go, forgot to edit the plasma itself so it moves. Uh, so go to uh, offset and lower lower that. Uh, and go to progress in degrees and click this little clock over here. Drag it all the way to the end. And drag this all the way to the end, also. So, if we watch this, we can see that it animates. God dang it, Sony Vegas, can you lag anymore? Okay. Well, you guys cannot tell it met, uh, it's moving, but it will move at the end thingy. Now, place this all the way at the center of the text. Let's zoom in a little bit. Place it near the center of the text. And make it slow fade, like this much fade, because we we want it at the very end. Like no, actually no, I take it back. Go halfway fade, and then go to the end of the plasma still, and so there's little room where it's really bright. But otherwise, it's nothing. So now, if we watch this, we can see that it starts to it starts to appear like right there. Uh, so go right before the text, right before the fade. As I'm back and I'm kind of stupid. Now, what I messed up was just increase the text text size until it's at the middle of the plasma, and then just go to the back and just do it like this. I don't know why I did it the other way. I feel stupid now, uh, so don't subscribe. But I'm gonna show you how to make this anyways. If we watch this, it's gonna f start fading out. I missed a rookie mistake. I cannot believe I did that. And then it just you know disappears like so, and then voila, you're done. Uh, I know that there was an optical flare coming in like this, and I, I you know, made it come out. But uh, it's really hard to time it. It just takes a lot more time to do it that way. This is a lot faster way, and, and you still get the smoke effect. Uh, I hope this is yeah, this, this is done. I'm completed now. Uh, nope. Uh, mm, you can yeah, you could, you could dislike the video because I messed up. Uh, but that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys uh, next Saturday. Uh, yeah, so bye-bye.